matchup dependent. Falcon does not have a great way of answering Gordo at the ledge. So yeah. it, I think that's going to be a big part of it. They, although Falcon combos on DDD, that sounds, that sounds like it's going to be rough. Anyway, yeah. we're getting it right into it. Game what? one between these two. Ooh, and it's Smashville, so there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide on this stage, because it is very small, very intimate, close and personal. Yeah. Oh, wow! Ooh. The Gordo lasting forever, and at the very last second clip, some 89% completely unanswered. Gordo Ramsey doing a fantastic job right now, and DDD definitely does not struggle to kill. Oh, oh, oh! oh. oh. It's, um, he also does not to struggle death? to die. No, he had 8% from a, okay. or less than that from a single hit neutral air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, if that, that is you hate to fine. see it. I mean, I, I think that's pretty funny. I mean, if you're, if you're Gordo Ramsey, that's gotta, it's gotta be a I don't know. terrible hit to the mental. It, it can be, but also it seems like he had his, an effective game plan. And yeah, he died at close to zero, but I don't think this is getting in the way of it. Oh, all right. Now oh. that could shatter your mental game. If you're up by like 100 mm -hmm. on your like first stock and then USD followed by like a Falcon edge guard, which can still happen. Okay, not this oh, time around okay. at least. Ah armor. That was a really smart beefy up being past the ledge to maintain mm -hmm. his armor so that Falcon couldn't even two frame him. Yes, that was like very bold seeing. Okay, they're not gonna punish me. They're gonna try and actually edge guard instead. Oh, oh, oh is that's He's not gonna kill? Probably us, dead. Yeah. It, oh, no. okay. Okay. Yeah, he was too low of a percent. Falcon's heavy enough. Oh, it's happening. DDD oh. is. <sighs> It's amazing how Nintendo can just design a troll character like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, this character does have very good ledge trapping, but also you just feel terrible when, like, that down tilt just hits you, and you're like, what's he doing? <laughs> Why does it send it? It's such a devastating angle. All right, good job with the up smash there. Kind of reading the shield drops that quite a few times there, Gordo Ramsey would just sort of drop shield when... Uh, mm -hmm. When Pharaoh was running at him, so that was a nice call out on his part. And okay, oh, that's a jab block. Oh, and that kinda messes up on the punish. Maybe a little bit of jitters right now, because I mean, DDD is one of those characters that sort of makes you feel that, especially because it's like, oh man, anything they land. Yeah. Really just... It's it's because everything he has is so slow. Yet yeah. Gordo just comes at you, just like bouncing along, and there's nothing you can do. I mean, you can always hit it back, but it feels like every time you a good DDD player, you hit it back, and he's like, all according to plan. Mm -hmm. oh. It's like, ooh, I I was ready for that. So, oh, you fool! I wanted you to hit it back. <laughs> all oh. right, and what? Well, yeah, so he has an entire another stock to work with here. Or oh, not. Wow. <laughs> well, then. Just, that was quick. Yeah. Got the revenge stock just like instant. Yeah. Mm. Now, it's hard to glean a lot of meaningful information from that game just because of that like 0% SD. Mm -hmm. I feel like if, like if the game went the way it was sort of supposed to, uh, Gordo Ramsay would have still had a really big lead. Mm -hmm. So as we're moving into the next game, one of two things has to ch change. First of all, Gordo Ramsay has to stop dying randomly. Yes. Uh, oh, and also, that was a down down air. That's what it was. That yeah, accidentally them. buffered it, I think. Or Yeah, I think it was that they wanted to do a... Um, jump, and the jump didn't come out. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Or maybe they tried to like get to ledge, or maybe they tried to drop down and then do like an aerial... Something like that. Or maybe he thought oh, maybe... Falcon would wind up underneath him. Yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah. why he down aired. Yeah. One of the things, though, I think that uh, Gordo Ramsay did pretty well was put a lot of those situations out that are like sort of a would you rather of a saying, would you rather get hit by this forward smash or get hit by this Gordo? And puts out the Gordo first to really put in the opponent's mind, think, okay, I want to get away from the Gordo, but then putting something much more threatening out afterwards. I... I will say that it's kind of, <laughs> it's like a choose your own adventure where either mm -hmm. way you're getting hit. Yeah. But for the most part, Frio did choose very well. It felt like a, for a lot of those ledge traps, at least, you get hit by the Gordo and yeah, that, that doesn't feel great. 
But he, I think there was one down smash that ended up killing him from across the stage. Mm -hmm. But besides that, he, for the most part, wasn't getting blown up at like 10%. Yeah, exactly. Except for when so, he got blown up at 10% because his shield got broken, but just ignore that. Mm. Yeah, that was, that was like, getting shield broken in general is one of the most unsettling things. Could he have done the, um, the, the up B spike off of that? <gasps> I think you're right. He could have. He could have. Yeah, I think maybe he didn't. Maybe he, he thought, was probably maybe a little just, unnerved because of yeah, the especially SD. after an early SD like that. Yes, but that's because right. that was DDD right after. Should, at zero percent, I believe DDD should actually get a kill with that. Mm. Especially because it was at ledge. Yeah, at, uh, yeah, at the ledge especially. It's gonna be interesting to see what stage they pick. Are they gonna go back to Smashville? Maybe. Um, I, I feel like Kalos would be the ooh. best stage. Haha, <laughs> you got that because um. Yeah, this was Gordo Ramsay's counterpick, right? Those yes. platforms on the ledge, I, it feels like if if a DDD knows how to use them, they're actually going to limit the opponent's options even more. Really? Okay. I mean, it's like, we'll see. I, I have a feeling. It's like I have faith in the DDD player that he yeah. will not counterpick to this stage if he did not have an effective way of using those platforms. All right. And actually, as we're seeing... Oh, mm, neat. Uh, but as well, we're seeing... It seems that actually those platforms are coming out pretty handily for uh, Frio. Yeah, Frio is making great usage of them. And also great usage of the armor. Just seeing, okay, you're going for a weak hit. Trying to set up one of those would-you-rathers again. And I'm not falling for that. I'm just going in with my big meaty hitboxes. Oh, ooh. Yeah, no, I, was, I stand very corrected. Those platforms seem to be working out much better for Frio this time. Oh. <laughs> That, that was, was so cute. Yeah, I've never seen that. Yeah, just wait for the grab release and then just hit him with a punish. That I, I feel like that's not true. I feel like there's definitely ways to get around it. But how familiar is somebody with the esoteric, you know, punish game of DDD? Yeah, and if I'm, if I remember correctly, things like a grab releases and uh, berry breakout, like breaking out of the berry, uh, it's uh, if the the first thing that you do out of it is. Your... So I believe for grabs, it's the last thing you do, but for okay. berries, it's the first. Yes, uh, yes. I might be wrong about how that works in this game, but if I know that with berries, the case, maybe Devin could, you know, admonish us. Yes. What's up? I know that with berries, it is the uh, it's the first thing you do because yeah. uh, that's like an entire tech for the fighting game characters of input a move that also counts towards your mash and then. Oh! What? Oh my God! It happened. <laughs> the second he cut did. happened. It's been so long since I've seen that work. He did the thing. <laughs> well, Listen, just... if it works on your five-year-old cousin, it'll work in tournament. Exactly. You know, sometimes there's just things that are eternal. It's the great equalizer. No one is safe. I mean, I feel like you're safe if you do pay attention to the giant DDD coming down right at you, but... Oh, but interesting. everyone flank. gets caught slipping at least once. Oh. Oh. That was really smart. Seeing that they were going to go for those up out of fields, because that's what Frio was doing a lot. So instead baiting it with a forward air that wasn't quite close enough. And they weren't able to get the punish, but that's definitely setting a precedent for the future. Um... I guess, uh, well, he tried to down tilt, maybe expecting him to snap to the ledge. But mm. keep in mind that if he goes past it, he, as we've seen before, he maintains that uh, super armor. Yeah. So even if the downhill did connect, uh, wouldn't have meant... Okay, yeah. Wow. It's, clearly, it's a mix-up that doesn't always work. Mm -hmm. Also, Frio's mash is insane there. Did you see that? They broke out of that, like, instantly. And it's 64%. <laughs> the angle on that down tilt is just, it's honestly yeah. kind of silly. Oh, oh, oh my oh, god. There it is. There it is. That would you rather that we talked about earlier of like, put out that Gordo and then just throw out something much yeah. more threatening. It's a choose your own adventure where every single, yes. it says it goes to page, go to page five, you die. <laughs> go to page seven, you die worse. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I, even though that was kind of picking, it worked out well for him. I'm, it's really curious. Uh, so I'll be honest. When I said Kalos would be the counter pick, I thought that Frio was counter picking. <laughs> so, because I thought those would help him out, and they definitely did. Those ledge, those platforms on the side. Mm -hmm. Um, and so now that it is Frio's counter pick, I wonder. I. Honestly, I think Kalos might be, even though he was counterpicked here, I think Kalos might be the best stage for him, just because, for the most part, the ledge traps were not nearly as uh, dangerous, especially in the early parts of the game. Mm -hmm. Look at that catch. Yeah, that, that's a very nice catch. I love to do neutral air. They jiggle. Yes. They, it's like jiggle physics. Mm-hmm. They, they had a jiggle physics in this game, but only for DDD's neutral air. Belly jiggle physics are th jiggle physics I can get behind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as you see right there, he mashed, but he buffered uh, accidentally. It seems like the back air. Yes. And yeah, that's that's a move. There maybe are some like maybe if he up aired by accident. He might have been able to recover with like wall jump. Yeah. You know, jump up B, but the back air had too much lag on it. Yeah, um, that's also, always the worst feeling. I have a general question, which is that so DDD has a very fast fast fall speed does yes. the character when they get released immediately go to their own respective fall speed i actually or do don't they know it's related like to go it's fall related speed. to your aerial acceleration for how fast you reach your speed okay so, but i thought aerial acceleration doesn't have to do with uh oh doesn't have to do with fall speed i thought that's gravity has to do with uh vertical um you're right. I think. Hmm. I don't think I know enough to to properly speak All on right. it. I have to look into some, it. Some some uber scientist yeah. in in out there figure that one out for us. In the meantime, we're getting into game. Oh, oh. He scoops him with the up smash. What a call out. Yeah, and that was really smart. Seeing that they were going to go for that drop down into like trying to go for a rising aerial, and just catching it. Yeah. Now, for the most part, it feels like we haven't seen Gordo... I mean, we've seen him play from behind, but most of that was because he SD'd kind of early. With this mm -hmm. kind of percent deficit where, you know, uh, Frio's only at 52, Gordo Ramsey at 142, but now he has to think about getting the kill. Look at that. That up B at the ledge wasn't enough. And I, I like this idea of just trapping him there. It seems consistent. Mm -hmm. And eventually, there it is. Yeah. And now that he's killed him too, that means that it's a lot less scary because there's no rage on that DDD. Mm -hmm. Heavies with rage, some of the scariest stuff in the world, because especially super heavies, those things pack quite a punch already, so, you know, even more. Oh, wow. Yeah, that forward smash has kind of a landing hitbox to it. And as we saw right there, even if it wasn't the meaty part, still covered that move, that mm -hmm. option. And now... Yeah, Frio still sitting pretty at 98% and cute. Just down tilts him. Yeah, that's not... Oh. oh. Those uppies on stage, I feel like, haven't been punished. Yeah, I think Can... Ryu could just, like, jump away from it, and then I think it might give enough time. Can you jump if... air dodge? I think just if you do, like... Avoid it? I, yeah, I know jump that... neutral air dodge. That might... It, I don't know. It might be. You might get hit by the stars, because... There isn't as much invincibility, but anyway. Oh, 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 right there, that single. That's something we haven't really seen before. We have seen some knees, but earlier on they were like up air to knee. Uh, but that first hit neutral air knee has been a confirmed since the very beginning of this game. And mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, sometimes you forget just how brutal Falcon's punish game is because you don't yeah. see him that much nowadays. Yeah, especially online, you know. Even though Falcon has gotten quite a few buffs over the course of this game's lifespan, like the, one of the more recent ones being that Uppy one, that's been pretty big. Uh, oh, yeah. So recently, like very, very recently, we have been seeing a few more. Like every single time the character gets a buff, you see like a few more players. But for the most part, Falcon players are like dedicated specialists. Oh, fantastic. I think you smashed the eye down, managed to get to the ground and shield before the final hit of that. And great phantom footstool to keep him alive. This could be it. Ah, oh. not able to make it there in time. He just too slow. Ooh. 
And Gordo Ramsay needs to get this kill as soon as possible. Oh no! Oh no! Just get up, Falcon Kick. Yeah, it's Falcon it's it, it gets him out of the corner. Yeah. I I will say um I'm not sure if that was the fear that drove him or what, but by the end of that set, like look at the get up timing on that. Look at the get up timing for just being able to like avoid the Gordo. It felt like Freo really adjusted to those ledge traps effectively and just paid off for him. He's going to be staying alive in the winner's bracket. Unfortunately, Gordon Ramsay going to be having to claw his way through losers now. Mm -hmm. And that's going to hurt because, you know, dying in a, like losing a set in a suspicious DI scenario definitely rattles you for the rest of the tournament. It's like, if only I had... A little less so when you basically had an entire other stock on the opponent you also had to take down. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's... there, there. That's the sort of thing where it wasn't a single mistake. It wasn't yeah. like, a, oh, I just reacted wrong in this one moment. There was kind of a game plan issue or an mm -hmm. adaptation that, you know, you just didn't make. So that's the sort of thing where, yes, it overall just losing doesn't feel great. Yeah. But, you know... There's when you lose by like a fair margin like that, there's a lot you can try and understand what went wrong.